first off, thank you for talking to me today. It's so nice to finally see you over Zoom. Well, thank you so much for taking your time down here. Yeah, for sure. I want to start off by saying thank you, or not thank you, but congratulations on everything <laughs> that you've accomplished so far in your career. You have a pretty impressive list of projects that you've been on. I'm wondering, what is your favorite achievement so far? Every, everything I do is always very different. And, you know, it's different genres, but they all tend to be very dramatic. Um, but I mean, they're all special to me in all different ways. Definitely. They're all like my, my, my children. <laughs> And what was it that made you want to get into acting? Is there a specific moment that you remember? I was very young, so I only remember a little bit of it. But going off what my mom told me, you know, the full story is that, you know, I've always been obsessed with playing with my dolls, you know. So when I was about like th three, four years old, uh, she saw me playing with my dolls, <sighs> pretending like I was, um, you know, an actress. I was like, no my best friend is sick today um <laughs> you know just doing this random scene that came out of the top of my head and my mom was like oh she's good so she found this random monologue off the internet and she was like all right uh let's just tape this and send it to an agency and see if anything could happen well obviously something happened oh yeah <laughs> and I'm so grateful for it yeah, 100%. And I know you have a feature film, A Sudden Case of Christmas, that you recently worked on. But I know you've also worked on kids TV shows and Fear of the Walking Dead. How do you decide what projects you want to work on? Do you look at the characters or do you look at who you're working with? Uh, well, I always like to read through the script um, at least like three times just to you know, know what I'm getting myself into. <laughs> hmm. And um, I always try to um, research on the material and see if there's any existing shows or movies or books. And I try to, um, you know, study as much as I can until I really feel connected to the role and I feel ready to tape it and send it off. <laughs> Definitely. And what's the best piece of advice that you would give to other young actors? Um, never give up. It's going to take a while, but you'll get there with time and practice. Definitely. I mean, look at you. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. It takes a while, but, you know, you're going to get there with, with a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. And speaking of practice and working, you've worked with a few very big people in the industry. I'm wondering, do you have a dream person that you want to work with in your future? Um. I'm happy to work with any with anyone that would want to work with me, <laughs> but um, these two actors that I admire very much, um, Anne Hathaway and Emma Stone. Sorry for my dog, by the way. She's crazy. You're okay. <laughs> Are there any specific movies that you love of Anne Hathaway's? And yeah, I like Anne Hathaway's The Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> okay, I was not <laughs> expecting you to Princess say Princess Diaries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't. I'm not. Uh. I don't remember the title, but there was this other one. I forgot the title. <laughs> it's okay. Those are both good movies. Oh yeah. Yes. And I like Emma Stone's Cruella. I thought she did amazing there. She I watched that great. like fifteen times. Was that a <laughs> Halloween costume that you wore, or no? Yes. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think it was like two years ago. Mm. Um. It was really cool. I was the little ball gown, like the red dress and okay. the wig. It was, it was really cool. Did you recreate any scenes just for fun? Um, you know, in the mirror and in the shower, <laughs> but didn't really film any uh, gorilla scenes. Fair enough. Fun. And talking about projects, what do you have planned for the future? Do you have any projects that you can hint at or talk about? Well, my agent and my manager are currently talking about something that I can't 100% say about yet, and it's not 100% sure yet, um, but it's pretty cool, you know. I'm just waiting to find out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what it is. If you could describe your future and what you want to see for it in three words, what would they be? Hmm. Um, I, I see myself acting, so um, artistic, um, acting, and designing. Okay. Do you want to get into design? Mm -hmm. I, um, I've always been obsessed with like interior designing. Um, my parents uh, have, you know, multiple businesses and stuff. So I wish to pursue my acting and also have a little interior design side job. It's what makes me happy. That's all that matters. You're going to be keeping busy though. Oh yeah. But that's what I love. I mean, somehow I'm always telling myself like, oh, it would be nice for a break right now. But I mean, even when acting, I'm like, oh, it's been two weeks since I filmed anything. Oh my gosh, I want to get back. I get that. I'm the same way too. So you got to keep busy. Yeah. Or else I'm like, ah, I want to do something else. You know? For sure. Well, I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. And hopefully we can talk again. But thank you so mm -hmm. much for your time. Thank you so much, too. There's my little doggie. She wants to say bye. Oh. What's bye her bye. name?